let's talk about moles. I will do the basics of chemistry with you because I needed them to understand and I'm just a nice guy so I will help you with that. What's a mole? One mole. It's called the Avogadro number. It's like an Italian chemist that invented it or physicist, I don't remember. It's simply 6.022 multiplied by 10 power of 23. So it can be 6.022 10 power 23 of molecules of water, of, uh, of rings, it can be of anything. Why do we use this, this mole? It's very important. Because <coughs> the atoms, they are very, very small. They are very, very small. The, the, an atom is very, very, very small. So if we want to quantify it, like to, to calculate the weight of this atom, we have to multiply, multiply it by, by a very, very big number. That's the principle of stoichiometry. And that's like <laughs> chemistry. And uh, I will go on and give some examples. So, you have one mole. You have one mole of carbon 12 weights. Weight of one mole of carbon 12. What does it mean? Carbon-12, it's like the atomical mass of the, if the isotope of carbon-12. One mole of carbon-12 weights 12 grams. So you see what I did here. We're moving from mole of an atom that is very small to 12 grams, 2 grams. That's very important. So, this 12 is 12 atomic mass unit. So, one mole of 12 atomic mass unit equal to 12 grams. So, simply one mole of one unit atomic mass unit equal to one gram. And if this number atomic mass unit you have it in the periodic table, so you can calculate the mass of anything. So you can easily pass from mole to grams. So let me give you an example in medicine. I said in the previous video that the concentration of sodium in the blood is 1, 40, Minimal per liter. That's what I said. What if I want this in gram? How do I do? So we have one forty multiplied by this ten to the power minus three mole per liter because minimal is one thousand. So it's zero point four one hundred four mole per liter. So from what I said previously, you can see on the periodic table the molar, molar mass of sodium. The, what's the molar mass of sodium? For example, it's twenty two grams per mole. What does it mean? It means that there is twenty two grams of sodium. Per mole. You don't need to confuse yourself with atomic mass unit. 
It's the atomic mass unit with the, the conversion that we did earlier. If you come back on the video, you, you can understand. You try to do it yourself. So let's move on. So it means that in one mole of sodium weights 22 grams. And we have like 0 0.14, let's say. So, what's the weight? And now it's very simple. X equal 22 multiplied by 0 0.14 divided by 1. It's 3. The answer is 3. So you have 3 gram per liter of sodium. Magic. This is very important to know in medicine. So <coughs> let's move on. Now we understand what's a mole of something. You can even convert it to grams now. So let's Mm, I will explain to you what is equivalent now that you understand, understood the mole. Equivalent it's the number of a number of mole of the opposite charge that is needed to to have an electro equilibrium. So it seems like Chinese, but it's very simple. Something like that. We have C A plus plus. We have two plus, no? So it wants it lacks two electrons. As simple as that. You have chloride that has one electron to give. So if calcium if you have one calcium to have the electro equilibrium, you need two chloride. So for one mole of calcium you will need two mole of chloride. So now you can guess one mole of calcium equal to equivalent oops sorry equivalent of calcium. As simple as that. For sodium, for example, it's one equivalent. It needs just one chloride, not two. One mole of, of uh, sodium would need just one mole of chloride. So that's how you go from equ equivalent, mole, and now the last one. It's the simplest one. So, what's an osmo? It's one mole multiplied by the number of particles in which a solute dissociates in a solution. Number of particles in which into any plus plus CL mole one mole of Na plus plus one mole of chloride then it will give us two here two osmoles as simple as that that's how you go from osmos to from moles to osmos. And you use that in the blood and to calculate the plasma osmolarity. You need that. You need to know the plasma osmolarity because you 
have to inject either osmotic solution or isotonic solution because of, I will explain that later. Now we explain to you the difference between osmolality and osmolarity. So why did I spoke, speak about this osmo? It's because osmolality and osmolarity we use this osmo. Osmolarity, osmolality, excuse me, it's the number of osmoles, osmoles of all the particles in the body fluid or where we calculate this osmolarity in, in the liquid that we, will, that we will inject because it needs to be either osmotic if like we have a blood loss, the isosmotic blood loss we have to give an isosmolar solution so that's why we calculate this osmolality just so you understand anyway, osmolality is the number of osmoles on the quantity of solution in liters osmolarity on the other hand is the number of osmoles on the quantity of solvent per kilogram so you may think that the major difference is liter and kilogram that's not the, the biggest difference between the two because in the solution or the solvent there is water we have water in our body so we use water and one liter of water is one liter of kilogram one kilo is one kilogram of water, so we don't care. The problem is this: this solvent thing and this solution thing. A solution is the solvent plus the solutes. A solvent is just the water. So if you have the same solution, you take up the solvent. So we have this void here, this gap, right? Anyway, anything you want. So here. 1 liter of solution will have 0.99 kilogram of solvent because there is this little space that you take off so this is the difference <laughs> and you see this is like 0 .0, 0 0.01 so who cares, you can use both if you want some textbooks they use Osmolarity, some textbooks they use osmolality. I like osmolality because the blood is a solution. Anyway, if you see in the book osmolarity of osmolality, just don't worry about it. 